Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're going to learn how to record and produce your band in Reaper. And this is part three of that series. Now that everything is plugged in, let's see if we can actually hear it. And let's get some good recording levels. Let's make these tracks bigger. Page up. So we just see the drums. Let's start with our kick track and put it into record. Then we'll bring the level up on a mic preamp or the audio interface. And let's have the drummer play. We can see the signal right here and we can also hear it. But to check our levels better and see better metering, let's switch to the mixer, which we could do in the view menu, choose mixer. And that docks the mixer down here, which looks like this. So the same tracks as in here, my track control panel. Now I want to undock this. So I'm going to right click over here and unchoose this dock mixer in Docker. And if we do that, it folds the mixer in its own window. And I also want to change the layout. So it looks a bit different. So again, we'll go to our options, layouts, this time on the mixer panel, and we're going to choose session mixer, which looks like this. Now, if for some reason yours looks like this, or we can see the effects up here and the sends down here, just hold down control on the PC or command on the Mac and go right over here, see how the cursor changes, and just drag it up. So you can see our faders and our meters a lot bigger. So again, let's have the drummer play and let's look at the meters right here. Now the perfect recording level on the meter is between minus 18 and minus 12. Right now, this is a bit too low. So let's bring our preamp up and we'll have him play again. That's a lot hotter. In fact, it's too hot. It's peaking above minus six. Again, the perfect level is between minus 18 and minus 12. So let's split the difference and bring it down a bit. That looks a lot better. The kick drum is between minus 18 and minus 12. So that's a good recording level for our kick. Now let's go to the snare and do the same thing. Bring up the mic preamp or the audio interface input a bit and let's hear the snare. Again, it's a bit too low. It's going between minus 24 and minus 18. We can make that a bit hotter. So let's bring it up. That's a bit too loud. Let's split the difference and bring it down a bit. That looks perfect. It's right in between minus 18 and minus 12. So let's do the same thing for our toms and the overheads. Bring each one of them up a bit and let's check their recording level. Put them all into record right here and let's hear it. Those levels look pretty good. Everything's between minus 18 and minus 12. And if you're not sure, it's better to be too low as opposed to being too high or too hot. So let's mix it with our faders here to have a good balance of our drums. And I also want to pan our toms right here. This is our rack tom. Let's bring it to the left a bit and our floor tom to the right. Now the overheads are a stereo track. So we don't have to pan those. By default, 
the first one is left, and the second one is right. So the pan knob just controls the stereo balance. So we should solo each track and make sure it's playing the right source or the right sound. Our snare. It sounds good. We have good recording levels, and the drums sound pretty balanced. Everything we're doing over here, in terms of the faders, isn't being recorded that way. Only the mic preamps on the way in affect the recording. Everything we're doing over here is just for playback. So in the next video, we're going to add some compression and EQ to make the drums sound better. Oh!